All right, guys, I didn't think I'd be uploading another video so soon, but uh, I got the 3800 in my rack. I went to do the uh, first firmware update. Of course, there was one. It uh, did the update, and then uh, right after the update, I had a it turned off and then on again, and I had a black screen. So I had to uh, reboot it, power it back on. Powered it back on, went and checked for another firmware update. There was another one, and it did the update, and now I got uh, this screen here. Let me flip. It's telling me unplug my power cable. Please check you. Oh, ran out of digits there, I guess. Update error 2C02. Please check you. Confit uh, your network, unplug, and reconnect the power cable cord and try again. Okay, so let's see. I come back here. Don't give me don't give me any flack for my uh, cable management here either. I'm still in progress of updating this. Yours probably doesn't look much better. Unplug it. Plug it back in. Let's go back here. Uh, okay. What do we got? Main zone up. Main zone on. Okay, still got a blank screen on the TV though. Let's see. It's just like switch inputs here. There we go. That's it. Hmm. Another black screen. Let's see. Please wait. Oh, we gotta please wait. Okay, hold on a second. And we're doing update again. Okay, goes right back into the update again. Goes right to 99%. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Okay, just sitting here updating 99% there we go, update complete, longest minute ever, reboots, okay, back to the main zone, stereo Blu-ray, Hmm. But uh, black screen on the TV. Let's see here. Change the source. TV's on because it's showing the source on the bottom of the screen. Still a black screen. Turn it I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on again. Okay, now we got Now we got the Denon screen here. Okay. I'm going to put my remote Let's go back into setup. Let's see if we got another firmware update is what I want to know. Firmware, check for update. Okay, now we're on the latest one. All right. One thing I did want to check for somebody on the forum 
real quick that I was having trouble uh, getting the transducer output set up here. Let's see. Speaker config. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. That looks fine. Let's go. There we go. Tactile transducer setup right at the bottom there. There we go. Enabled. You can set the level. Low pass filter. There we go. All right. Thanks for coming along with me again. Like I said, I'm going to be uh, testing this out over the weekend. Hopefully put it through its paces. First thing I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and run it with no amp just the just the amps and the avr see how well it does and uh yeah take it from there like i said will it sound as good as the 6700 that we shall see all right thanks for tuning in again like, like and subscribe i'll talk to you later bye